Now, um, I was going to just say a few words about artists and residents in the national parks in general, because um, I know a number of artists have asked me, they, they've heard that I've been working on this project from the Mojave National Preserve, and they've asked me, well, how do you get to do this kind of a program? How do you get selected? Um, so just a few uh, a few a little bit of background information is there's over 50 uh, residencies, artists and residency programs in the US National Parks, which also includes historic sites and um, other cultural organizations within the park system. And if you go to uh, na the National Park uh, website, nps.gov, and in the Google, uh, in the search uh, window, you put in artists and residency, you'll find the page that lists many of the residencies in the national parks. And most of the parks have their own application process. You apply individually to the park. And uh, specifically with the Mojave National Preserve uh, Artist Residency, it is managed by the Mojave National Preserve Artist Foundation, which is a separate entity that is uh, coordinates with the preserve and the park staff itself. So some of the parks handle it with their own staff, some are handled by like friends groups or other types of affiliated uh, organizations. And the, the, the um, if you think that you want to do this uh, kind of a program, I would encourage you to just go to the different websites. So uh, we had, you know, the artists uh, go through a jurying process an application process, you fill out an application, send in your resume, uh, you have to you have a project proposal uh, about what you would do specifically in that in that park, like how your work relates to that preserve, what you would benefit, how you would benefit, how your work would benefit uh, the preserve and the public at large. Um, one of the cool things about the program is the national parks really appreciate the artists who participate in the program. I mean, they consider the the park staff, the park people they consider the artists who work there interpretive uh, interpretive um almost interpretive staff that you are pro, um, promoting the mission of that particular part promoting the permission the um the preserve um messaging about um the whatever the park goals are. So there, you have a lot of support from the park people themselves once you are working in this um, program. And um, a unique uh, feature about the Mojave National Preserve uh, residency, I've done four residencies in national parks. And one of the unique, one, unique aspects of the Mojave uh, program is that they, um, ask you out for a commitment to do a body of work and to present a show. Um, uh, originally, the shows were scheduled to be in the Kelso Depot, uh, a gallery that was developed, the Desert Light Gallery at the Kelso Depot uh, Visitor Center. Um, but that now is under renovation and there'll be other venues developed for the shows. But the artist commits to doing a body of work and that's different than the other residencies I've done in other uh, parks, uh, where each so each park will have an, a different kind of commitment. One residency that I did it, um, I did at Everglades National Park. Really, you did your own work, but then at the end, you were the commitment was to give back to the park for the time and the staff help that you gained, um, and that you donated one work to uh, the collection of artwork at, um, in Everglades National Park. Another really awesome feature about the program is, and, and kind of a hidden gem that I think a lot of people don't know about, but the national parks actually have artist collections. And so, um, so some of the uh, pe uh, parks where you donate your work, your art will be featured maybe somewhere in the visitor center, uh, it might end up in somebody's office, but um, they often will do shows of previous artists in residence. There, there's um, like long-term relationships that can uh, be established once you participate in one of these park programs. So that's kind of in a nutshell, if uh, anybody out there is interested in applying for 
um, uh, artist in residence program through the national parks. I will I'll also add this though. I do know that um, the Nation, Mojave National Preserve is not take, accepting applications right now for uh, artists in residence because of um, COVID, uh, but uh, I, they have a separate website on the Mojave National Preserve Art Foundation. You can check their website and um, I'm, I imagine that uh, you know, when, once applications open up again, it'll be announced on, on their website. And their website's really good. It, it you know, it, it shows the work of uh, other artists who have participated in the program. So you can kind of see what other artists are doing um, in, in the preserve. <laughs> 